guys welcome to my channel this is Ogonwadi thank you for joining me today guys if you haven't subscribed to this uh, channel go ahead and do so click on that subscribe button you know here or here wherever it pops up click on it tap on the notification bell so you get notified anytime that i upload a recipe diy or a chat you know let's be family so if you're my returning subscribers I give you kudos. I thank you so much. I appreciate you. Today, it's a different thing. I have somebody here that we're going to talk about a beautiful topic that is very important. Her name is Oni Ogadema. Hi, you guys. My name is Oni Ogadema, and I have a YouTube channel where I tell you guys lots of things about YouTube support and lifestyle vlog, talk and hair tutorials. You can hop onto my channel so that you'll get the Fujis, like the Fujis on how to build your channel as a upcoming content creator and other fun stuff and exciting things over there in my channel. So I'm going to be waiting for you guys over there while I shift the button to Ogon Wadi. I'm going to leave a link below. Follow her if you're not following her. Subscribe to her. She's a great content creator. You're going to learn a lot for her from her, especially if you're a small YouTuber or beginner. You need only your God in mind your life. Go ahead and check out our channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to treat kids or people with disabilities. I hope you're going to learn a lot and I hope you, you know, enjoy. Click on that like button, you know. Share us out with your world. Let everybody learn how to treat these wonderful people that God created. And uh, watch other of our videos. Like I said, it's called your God in mind and Ogonwadi's collaboration. Thank you and stay tuned. So guys, I'm going to start off my point by emphasizing on this particular word. We need to stop treating people with disabilities as less than human. Why did I say so? People with disability, they are also created by God. Just the way I was giving birth to, that's the way they were also born. Just that they like my my sister said they are special edition they are special edition they are special they are unique in their own way so i feel we as humans should treat them not we as humans i feel everybody should be treated equally no matter your ability if you're disabled whatever you are we should be treated equally so let's stop seeing them as less than human because you will be marveled at what those people you call this 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 um, people with disability or special needs can do you will be marveled you'll be marveled at what they can do you'll be marveled and god has kept them on this planet for a specific purpose you might be looking at them as weird as maybe the time you want to maybe if you're trying to communicate something to them and they are being less concerned they are being they don't really understand what you're trying to do and they feel they feel as though they are not in this planet and you get all worked up and pissed off that is not the time to do so because they have their own ability of thinking and if you must communicate with them you have to come down to their ability that is the only way you can help them and that's the only way they can love you that's the only way they can come to understand you so if you must work or help people with disability i feel you should treat them equally no, even if they are, dis they are disabled, they are still humans that should be treated equally like every other kid out there, every other child out there, every other man or woman out there. Sometimes you take, people take their devices and run away. People push them. People say, oh my God, oh my God, it is heartbreaking. You know that person cannot run and catch you. You know that person probably cannot even see you take their device. You know that person cannot speak without their device and you take it and you run away or you throw it in the floor. It's not a good thing. Bullying, it's a no-no. It's not acceptable. Shouldn't be accepted. And my second point is observant. If you have a child that is special need if you have someone that you know that this person needs special care or the person is having one disability or the other you have to be observant you have to be observant because if you're observant you will be able to communicate with that child you'll be able to 
communicate with that man, you'll be able to communicate with that woman. If you're not observant, the person might be trying to communicate something to you. The person might be trying to tell you, okay, if he's a child, maybe you 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 lifted that child up and the the child's sandals fell to the ground. The way a normal child will communicate that his or her sandals fell to the ground is not the same way a special need child will do so. So we have to be observant. We have to be observant. And if you're observant to the way they show, the signs they show you, it makes them to love you more because they feel this person understands me. This person knows where I'm coming from. So I love this person. So if you're, if you're working with somebody that has a special need or a kid that has a special need, you have to be observant to the kind of communicate, to their kind of communication. You have to be able to understand the tiniest thing. It's not going to be easy if you're somebody that has not done it before, but with, with practice, you'll be able to get there. Learn to love, learn to care. Teach your children. I teach my kids every day to love. And by the grace of God, they are doing this. I happen to have kids that took a long time before they could speak. It took patience for me to help them. And by God's grace, they are speaking. So don't look down on any child. Look at what my shirt says. I love to wear the shirt. She said, I am not different. I am a special edition. They are special edition. God made them so for a purpose. Help them. Help them get to that, you know, height they want to attain. Something that is funny to you might not be funny to them. You got to be, you know, alert in your spirit. When you're laughing at a joke to them, they confuse why is she or he is she laughing at me? Is he laughing at me? Stop the joke immediately. Try to explain to them the point you're trying to bring out. Please let us stop bullying, especially to these ones that are vulnerable, even to the adults. A lot of you that are in diaspora work in a home where you take care of adults with disabilities. The way you treat them is heartbreaking. Let me tell you, if nobody sees you or if they cannot report you and say this is what you're doing to them, I want you to know that somebody up there, I don't know the God you serve, but whatever deity you serve is watching you. And there is something called vengeance and it belongs to God. So when you start doing something in life and it's not working for you and you're like, I'm trying my best, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, nothing is working. Think back. Think back. Could it be that I did something wrong somewhere? Let me tell you, it doesn't take anything to show a little kindness. Show love. Treat everybody the same. The world is in crisis now. All of a sudden, a lot of people know God. All of a sudden, a lot of people talk about God. Start from where you are. How you treat people around you. How you treat people with special abilities. Show love. That's all I'm saying. Stop bullying. Stop the name calling. Stop treating them humanly. Stop staring to the extent that their parents will go back at home and start crying. Feel free to ask questions. You will get the answer you want. We have children with autism. We have children with Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, learning disability, and so many others that I cannot mention. They are all human like you and I. They want to be loved just like you want to be loved. Show them love. Don't look down on them. Show love. They all need love. They need love. We need love. They also need love because they are humans. I said in the beginning that they shouldn't be treated less than human because they are human. And love, love, love is all they need. I know, I know, I know um, kids with special need or anybody with special need, it's not, it's not easy for them because Although I'm going to, I would just advise people not to 
to sideline people with special needs because some persons they might not come open to speak out and say ah this person is special need but the way they stare the way they look you see somebody that maybe you see a mother or a father carrying a kid with special need and everybody's eyes will just be there they'll be staring at the parents they'll be staring, staring at the child that is very very devastating like it's devastating even if you don't speak the word out the stay alone has told the parents what you what he or she is thinking of so the best thing is to show love because in heaven we are not god is not going to say because you have special need you're going to stay here in heaven we are equal in the sight of god even you know if you like be disabled in one way or the other if you like let your hand be cut off just if you're disabled in one way or the other you are the same thing with the people that are okay the people that are complete you are the same thing with them and you are also complete just that you are a special edition so with what is going on around we need love to conquer we need love to conquer so if you're someone that works with a special need kid or you're someone that has a special need kid or you're someone that takes care of a special need man or woman or or teenager show them love the best you can because there is a reward for everything even if you don't receive the reward from the person you are showing that love to god is going to reward you according to what you put in look at the ability not their disability they can do much more that you can imagine give them the chance be their friend come on we can do this we can all do this let's make this world a better place we're asking god for healing let's start the healing like this please when you see somebody with disability stop staring negatively stop scaring you know disgustingly show love ask questions search or google so you can read more about them they didn't make themselves like that that's how god decided the one step to be so guys i hope you enjoyed the topic today i hope we've been able to drive a point at least to you you know at least we made a point i hope so and i hope we practice what we have just uh, talked about and as we do that i'm pretty pretty sure we will be blessed in every way guys stay safe in this period i'll continue with the social distancing wash your hands with a soap and water and you know what pray and let's keep the faith thank you for joining us it's bye from ogo and onya thank you and bye 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 guys